Hello, Blood Trooper here. I'm back for some more Shadows of Thaumaturgy, and I might concentrate more on this series for a while because some things happening with Vanilla and its snapshots currently are a little disappointing, so eh, I'll, I'll pick up with that eventually. But for now, I'm going to try to figure out how to get a little bit more uh, gardening done in various ways, and uh, there's a solution for that. Uh, thing is, I added the gardening pots mod. Er, botany pots, actually. Uh, is it here? Yeah, okay, so just, it, okay, gotcha. So, how do I make one of these? Terracotta of any sort and a flower pot. So basically a lot of clay. Luckily in this area I have a ton of clay and in the future I should be able to get even more clay because well it's just something I've got a lot of access to and after that I should have even more access so I think I'll be good <laughs> with that so yeah. Okay, let me see here. Uh, did I have another book out recently? I thought I... yeah, the Astronomicon. I'm gonna put you back over there for right now. And see if I can take care of some other stuff. Let me, oh, yeah, I have a lot of clay balls already. Now to get a botany pot, I think it was five of, yeah, it's five terracotta and a flower pot. So, for each of these I'd need a good number. So, for that I'd need five just to get that, plus I need to fire these up to get and here's an issue. Do I have a better furnace that I can get right about now? Because that, that might be a thing, is I might need a little more uh, furnace efficiency. Uh, <clears throat> yes, I do. I don't think a blast furnace is going to cut it. Uh, a furnace pet, uh, could help out with that if I had the right stuff for it. Now, I can do the upgrades that I normally, uh, would do in some things, so I could go for an Imperium furnace. Uh, cooking speed is higher, fuel efficiency is about okay, Prudentium is, uh, better. <laughs> It would be nice. Uh, we'll see how much Inferium I have, if I can go that far. Okay, Inferium block is just nine of them compressed. That's okay. Inferium essence. Inferium ingot starts out with prosperity. Prosperi uh, prosperity ingots, yeah. Which... Okay, I could do that, maybe, if I have enough pr uh, prosperity shards, otherwise I may have to go hunting for them. Because I need a furnace upgrade, just just slightly, to just a little bit more fuel efficiency would be nice. Because I that tiny bit of transition time is the is the deal there. That That is the problem. So, I'm going to need two of those ingots, so... I'll need eight prosperity shards. Okay, that, that 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 might be doable. How much do I have? Well, that's an agriculture. That that's just where I have the essence. Uh, I am one short. Uh, of course I am. Um, I have a, just enough ingots to do this upgrade, so I might want to go for it. And meanwhile. I'm pretty full on blood right now, and I need to get my uh, blood infuser going, finally. I mean, it would be nice. Let's 
So let me see if I can hang out over here and uh, dolphin up my, my way here. So I might need to do that, but while I'm in the general area and it's trying to dry, I can see if I can just maybe casually spot a uh, thing near the... You know, this also comes up with a, a particular idea here. <laughs> Thank you, magnet magnetization power, for helping me out. Okay, so I can just totally snipe those. And I don't even have to go in the water. Is that that that's beautiful. I think you can add fortune to your spells at some point. Right now I'm not sure just how much I need to worry about that, but still, if, because it mines like that, you can mine with it underwater and just go with it beautifully. Okay, that, that, I'm very gracious for that particular spell. Now, I know for a fact that Prosperity Ore is actually considered kind of a low-grade ore. It's not that big of a deal. That said, uh, trying to find it raw just on the side might be interesting. Okay, so there's some copper there. If only one of my random abilities I'd found happened to have been... Oh. Just gonna say, if only one of them had happened to have been... Uh, water breathing, then that would make this an absolute breeze. Why do you not... Do, do I need to encourage you to be dry by ironically making more moisture around you? You just... you just go ahead and just be a set and we'll, we'll see if any of you dry out. <laughs> Meanwhile, I will just collect some clay while I wait on that. This is just awesome for collecting clay. Which I will in fact need a lot of, especially if I'm doing more botany pots. Because I need to upgrade a furnace so I have my best use of it. Because... You know, it's just better to go with better efficiency and speed with your furnaces, if, when you can. Aha! One of them has, in fact, decided to uh, harden on me. So, finally. I'll also eliminate a spot from my inventory by having a cooked salmon. Okay, there we go. Seven. Uh, was that enough for a core... Um, almost. Although to be fair, I don't remember how many I had in in my inventory at the time, so maybe that's enough. I'll have to I'll have to check that. Meanwhile, just gritting, just getting myself a little aquamarine shale here. Okay, so, let's see, was that... Is that all that I had in there, and where was it before? Uh, 
Aha, uh -huh. I do have enough for another core. Sweet. Exactly enough. Okay. Okay, so I may tap that one a little bit, but I'll be fine. Finally, the blood infuser is now ready. Okay. Now, now we can truly begin all sorts of things. <laughs> oh yeah. We are totally getting back with this. And do I even need this shovel now? Because of the spell power there. Um, I don't think I do. I think I can relieve myself of any stone shovel now. That said, I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to have any weapons I can use while in my astral form, because... If I want to go around at night and... and destroy things, I'm going to need to have something I can carry around while astral. That may be trickier than you might first think. I see over there new drowned. Oh, and then there's speaking new drowned. Here comes another zombie that wants to try. Okay. Don't know why this one's still flowing here. Oh yeah, I guess I've been over, I'm over capacity. Uh, yeah, that that would that would be why. Um, okay. That, that makes complete sense. Because I'm over capacity. Yeah, well, I, I'm at capacity. Uh, taking another one would put me over capacity. That That's the issue, is that you can't take it past it, so... Okay, fair enough. You just fill up that way, and then I can take the rest. I may, you know, because of this thing's beheading property, I hadn't thought of this right until right now, but I may need a chest only for head trophies. <laughs> I never had that need quite before. That, that's, that's kind of new, actually, so there's that. So, okay, there's a first time for everything, and that's an interesting one. It's raining outside, but I don't exactly have the opportunity to fish right now. Because so I need to do other things, so... Yeah. Oh yeah, and I need to remember to take that with me whenever I'm going into seriously going around mode. There is, there's so much of this. I probably won't need to actually harvest some for a while because it's everywhere. With the prosperity shard I'll have to go and see if I've got a deposit that I missed. Because that I'll have to do. There we go. Okay, so let me see if I can find one of the, uh, one of the locations that I was mining up before.
literally just roasted in front of me. Okay. Get sliced. Yeah, I may need a, uh, yeah, I may need a trophy head, uh, box or some kind of other gallery because that's, it, it's going to add up way more than I thought, and yet, for something as precious and special as mob heads, do you really want there to be a possibility of just leaving them behind, either? Tanzanite glow rose. Okay, oh, I see a different kind of glow. Okay, who's glowing? Ah, I see, oh, oh, there's a couple of them. There's one of them that's a, uh... Smaller ability, one of them's a better one, because if you see gold, that that's a rarer ability. Okay, so it was you. I thought so. Nope, it's over there. Hey, wandering trader. Nice to see ya. Let me just compress this so I have a little space, and we'll we'll see about that. Problem is, I don't really have any emerald zombie right now, so you'll have to excuse me if I uh don't have anything to trade. Ooh! Holy, um, wow. That would be expensive and tricky to get. But that shows how precious the legendaries are. I mean, did you see the stats on that thing? Here's a quick review. Sharpness 10, Life Mending 3, Looting 3, Unbreaking 5, and Scavenger 3. Whatever, I think, I'm not sure what Scavenger 3 would do exactly, but it sounds awesome. And that much sharpness, just, oh my gosh, but, a, like, a stack of diamonds, half a stack of phantom membranes to get that thing. But then you suddenly become an absolute fighting machine. Now, to be perfectly fair, that's not even one that's the legendary status with... Uh, unbreakable, like my other one I've got here. Uh, so it's not like a legendary that's that crazy. That said, what would the cost be for one that is that crazy? Because officially that is nuts. And unbreakable is a status that is apparently beyond normal use of... Uh, Hmm, I have some uh, lava I might be able to use here. Uh, if only I could... Do I have enough for this ability, though? Uh, that's a lot of levels, so no. See, can I sack a few things, though? Um, sort of, but not... Well, to be perfectly fair, I, I did say that I didn't need this this stone shovel anymore. These are fine to get rid of. I've got a tree farm. We'll be getting even more farming uh, stuff around. So yeah, I, I believe I can... I believe I can harvest a little lava for some future portal action. So, okay. That said, I'd like to know if I've got a 
dungeon or a... There's the haunted area. I need to find, like, a cave or something, not just a haunted area. Haunted area is okay, but... And that'll give me some resources, it'll be interesting. But I need a, a, a cave or something with prosperity ore. I don't know how high up it goes in the world, though, so that's a pretty big question. Like, can I just skim around the surface and look for the sides and say, aha, there is some? Or is it something where I definitely need to go caving? Because that's, that's the thing, is I don't know how deep I have to go. That said, I would like to just find one of the random caves around here. And there are several. There are actually several totally random caves around here. So, it's it's a thing that could totally happen. Of course, I may have already uh, scavenged some of it from around these local areas. So, it might be a little harder to find on that note. It's just something I need to do one thing. Upgrade my furnaces and start the process to keep going. That said, I'm trying to remember if you can actually just... Holy dragons. And a, a, a titan. It knows I'm here, so it's, it's time to do the thing. Okay, never mind that thing, I'll just do the other thing. Let me just shoot you in the face with these arrows. Thank you. <laughs> I know there was more than one here. Uh, did I? Yeah, I, I, I got some stuff there. Common meat, plenty of leather. Leather is going to be super useful for a lot of things again. So there's that. So that one noticed me, this one did not. Now it noticed me. Still have some arrows. However, they can't move very well in the water, so... At least not as good as the player can. So you can kind of, uh, lap them a bit. Well, strafe is the better word for it. That said, they do in fact deal a lot of damage, so that, that, that's smart. I will have to use blood repairs on my equipment soon. That, that's a definite thing. Probably better if I went back to base quicker, just because that way I'll be able to uh, possibly... No, not over there. So I possibly uh, just maximize my my blood usage. And what is it with them hanging out around villages? Are, are they trying to, like, wreck the villagers or something? Because that's always just rude. <laughs> And I will defend the testificates because we homies, so, you know. <laughs> but please, oh please, let there be prosperity or, or a cave where I can find it. Because that would be nice. I am not seeing it anywhere near the surface so far. That's like a definite observation of it. Apparently you have to go at least somewhat in terms of caving. That's fair. Hi, llamas. How you doing? Nice to see some good old-fashioned llamas around here. 
think Roostalkers also gave me leather in a uh, sylph. Or maybe no no, they gave me gold. Yeah, that's right, they gave me some gold. Maybe leather. There are some around here. Uh, there's some gold. Okay, uh, I have a problem. Low tier meat. A blue. I can just eat these. I need the gold more than I need the essence right now. Do not have enough levels, and I'm certainly not seeing prosperity or. Okay, that's like it's been. Okay, I guess it's been proven. You got to go at least a certain amount of depth down before it counts. That that that's fine. And I did leave out my book, my uh, my storage thing again. Of course I did. Uh, is there anything else I just don't need anymore? Um, not sure. Not sure. Oh, wait. Uh, oh yeah, I'd have to cook it. Okay, so there's that issue. I'd have to actually cook the meat. Oh wait, then again, maybe, maybe it'll be fine. Okay, leave it over here because now I have the ability to actually eat something. Where did I... Okay, it, it's actually following me. Okay, that's actually kind of good. Okay, thank you, Magnetism, for having things just follow me around. Of course, there's always the ability to just do that. <laughs> okay, one slot no longer uh, a problem. But, of course, I'd have to give something up to get the Prosperity Ore if I found it. So, there is a question for another time. Is that will I be able to uh, get prosperity ore that I can actually use? Uh, that said, we do have various vistas around here that's nice, like the jungle. So there's still that. I'm trying to remember where I found some of those random caves. I didn't get to note them in time, so... Ah, there was one near the village. Okay. I can use that. Inferium ore goes pretty far up, at least. And what's that over there? That looks a little greener than the... the Inferium ore. Okay, it could just be that... I'm just noticing it is greener, but if it is greener, it would be a nice curiosity of, hey, what's that ore? Okay, that is just Inferium Ore. Okay. It's just greener because of the way you, that the 
biome makes it look. Okay, that's fair. They do that sometimes. For a while I thought I'd found one of Silence Gem's marvelous, uh, marvelous other ores, but I guess not. Okay, in that case, I'll just go back to the cave and see what... Wait a moment. Is that temple at a level I can actually get it? Because if it is, I can get all sorts of loot from those. And I can deposit a few things that I don't want to completely get rid of, but I might not want to have on me right now. Okay, to be fair, it is at a level that is easy to access. Okay. I can, I can totally do that. Hello? Is there loot? 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 Nah, uh, that kind of... The only loot's the environmental accumulator. Okay, th th that's fair. It's awesome stuff in and of itself for later. It does mean that this one might be considered uh, a good target for actually taking it up later. So, mountainous one near the village is a good possibility for uptake. Yeah, it might wind up being the one that's expended for that. I mean, it's kind of a big thing to do. So, I might do so. Hmm, interesting future plan. Of course, it is a future plan because it, it takes a lot, of, uh, a lot of effort to pull off. Uh, it's a lot of resources especially. I mean, the amount of just things that goes into it is, is kind of ridiculous. And like that, I have an extra head that I'm trying to figure out. Okay. Prosperity ore. I just need to find a place with prosperity ore. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. But apparently it kind of is. Okay, so if I go back towards the village and refind the other cave, I think that one might go deeper. Because that, that's what I need, as I need a cave that goes deep enough for me to actually like access the depths and get the proper ore, because it, it's amazing what one will go through for a furnace upgrade. <laughs> and that said, a blast furnace works for minerals like ores, and for uh, processing, recycling equipment. It doesn't work for converting some other things, like sand to glass. So it's, it's very specific. Because of that, I can't use it for this particular task. I mean, it would be great if I had one, and even then it'd just be faster. It still uses the same amount of fuel. It just does it everything twice as fast. And hello again, self. I'm looking for a very particular random cave. It may seem contradictory, but uh, trust me, it, it, it works out. Okay, so the cave should be nearer to the village and easier to spot. And then I should be able to use it over here. And I totally outran the uh, zombie head that was following me. Okay, that that that's that's fair. That's totally fair. Okay, so where was the cave that was like just around here? Because there was one, and it was kind of this way-ish, I believe. So it's along the side of the mountain. Ah, there it is. That's the one. You bopped me? 
Okay, so that doesn't go around that way. I have to officially go back into the cave. Because I thought it would go and loop around. Oh, I thought I was going to dodge that. Get swept. <laughs> yeah, I do need the bones good enough, so yeah, it's fair. Does it not really go that deep? Oh wait, it does. It just you have to go around to this side. Okay, I can I can accept that. Maybe I should have kept a few more of those. Platinum ore. I am trying to find a different ore that should be fairly easy to, to that to be f onyx ore from Silent Gems. I am intrigued. Now I am finding the ores that I was looking for before. Did I come here before? I may have, but that doesn't look like my stuff because I don't remember having a barrel. So is there... Oh dear. Not now! Not now, not now. I almost got it and then you showed up. I was not ready for that. Oh, I, I was I was so dead. <laughs> wow. Wait, was I blown up by a creeper minion? Not the main mutant creeper? Okay, and I have no idea how much of that stuff actually survived, but... It's a thought that some of it may have survived. Oh my gosh, that that uh that was painful. Um Okay, so I I got just swept. Is that my first couple of creeper heads? Apparently it is. It 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 apparently is. Okay, that that's 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 completely fair. Okay, and I do know that there's a local lava pool around there. Okay, got some extra string, that's good. Put the skull up. Uh, I probably need to cook this meat. I, is this compatible with the thing? Because if it's compatible with the thing, I'm v very up for that. I was literally about to get prosperity ore. Like I'd found a good place, and then what happens? They uh, they just pounce on me with a mutant creeper. <laughs> okay, okay, that 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 be that is kind of fair, but still, a, mu a mutant creeper out of nowhere, and I just get found it. Of course, I also need to you know while I'm waiting for that to cook, I might as well. Deposit. Oh, I'm so close. I'm so close. Because whenever I get my first full blood infuser worth, then it really starts popping off. Wow, that really flings around. Oh, that is good meat. Hunting dragons is very advantageous in Worm Roost, because uh, that is good meat. That's the common meat. That's not the 
It's not the apex meat. The apex meat has got to be the awesome stuff. So, there is that thought. Mmm, apex meat. I might want to put this ability totem up temporarily. It's kind of my, uh... Okay, let's let's take some of these out here. And you know what? I I got a Drake a uh, back plate from one of the Drakes I fought, and uh, that must have been luckier than I first thought because the ones that I fought just here later did not drop those. So hmm. Okay. Either way, I now officially have provisions for. If the low the low tier of me is decent stuff too. It's good to know. Oh, I also have some spider heads I need to drop off. There we go. Okay, I should be good that way. I don't want to take too much stuff with me, so I think I'll be okay on that one. So let's let's have a zip back over there, or maybe not. Hmm. I mean, I could. I was, I was very, very close. And now that I have the ability to, to actually get the stuff. Okay, I'm gonna put some stuff back here for later. I'm just gonna take my storage there. I'm gonna try to get this upgrade, because it's a good upgrade. And then... That should be it for now, because it sounds like a great upgrade there. And additionally, if I have to take out anything along the way, I'll then have enough magical blood to possibly, speaking of upgrades, and do a little uh, upgrading for other things, because I know that uh, I can do a lot of stuff way more efficiently after I... Uh, Start using the blood infuser. Oh, these have taken a uh, just. Eh, I'll leave that on because zombies. Okay, I'm just gonna run. I have decent meat to eat, so I should be good. But yeah, the the uh, the the titans are up there, so. If I find one that I'm at eye level with, I might be in for an interesting fight. And I know there was one over that way, uh, near the village. So apparently that's part of how that worked. Okay, so if I zip over this way, I should get to the village fine. Oh, yeah, I may want to grab these trees after a while, so special note, a bit uh, on my way to the village, uh, there are some fantastic trees. There's also a really great uh, other, str uh, other uh, astral structure I need to absorb there. And, um, you see, I don't have any arrows to fire, but I can use my Mage Blast. Can I shoot you from here just to get you mad enough for for me to have a fight? Because I'd kind of like to have a slight boss fight win here. Um, hello? He's not coming down? Okay, I missed. Admittedly, this takes up a good chunk of my mana right now, so I have to hit very carefully. Yeah, um, this is, this is gonna be very cheesy. <laughs> I can't believe with that much health it doesn't jump off the edge j just to, just because it knows that it would survive. Like, it, it should know that it would survive, uh, coming down from there. But is it going down? No, the, the, the titan is totally just 
just staying up there and just waiting me for to blast it like a total dope. It, although admittedly, I, I, I whiffed that shot. <laughs> it's better for me to say that when I actually hit it. There we go. So I can just keep blasting this Titan and it will just totally just get wailed on without me actually risking anything. Of course, I did get totally creamed by a mutant creeper a few moments ago, and it just popped out of the cave. <laughs> it's like, it's like, hi. It's, it's like, would you, uh, would you like to get through here? Because I'm not letting you, and I have an army of minions. So, it went for the summon. Apparently I was blown up by a creeper minion, not the actual mutant creeper. And then, of course, I was just launched back to my previous location. And might I add, you will never set your oh, sorry there, you will never set your spawn point by using the sleeping bag. You'll always go back to your regular bed. So of course, I wind up going back home. Uh, so there's that thought. And speaking of interesting thoughts, I'm going to have to use some of my mana to get enough blocks to get up there because I decided to use up all my cobble trying to uh, deal with the cave. So I'm going to have to switch to climb mode to get my prizes. So that that's something I'm going to have to do, is to get my prizes I'm going to have to get up there somehow because this is a giant chunk of obsidian and therefore blatantly blatantly inaccessible because my insta mine cannot take down anything that tough right now that still hit i i thought i was going to whiff <laughs> so uh, thank you for letting me actually hit with that one He's starting to smolder, but he can't do anything. <laughs> well, you're way up there, and I'm all the way down here. What you gonna do, uh, Ender Titan? Um, I mean, you don't seem to know how to jump down, and you're not as uh, teleporty as a regular Enderman. So I'm just gonna take the Nightfall set. Thank you very much. And that kind of helps make up. Oh yeah, that 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 that's right. I can't finish it off from here because it'll go into regenerate mode. Uh yeah, that is admittedly a problem. Touche. We are apparently at a bit of a tie. Fair enough. Fair enough. That that that. That is fair enough. We are at a bit of a tie. Okay, I wanted to go down deep, but not quite like that. Uh, I should have saved a bucket to water vate. Should have saved a bucket for water vating. Hello. And again, I wouldn't have uh, found this beautiful little place. Um, thank you. I know I added a KV mod here. Uh, it's this it you're kind of like the lush caves that's upcoming in the caves and cliffs update. So, I'll, I'll mostly just sort of, but I mean. Come on, this is still rather beautiful here. So I'm just gonna gonna take out these shears and grab myself some vines because commemorating this uh, this beautiful structure here, I, I've I've got to got to do it. There we go. Now I have some vines I'll be able to work with from from uh, then on. Okay, that 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 I feel good now.
pardon me as I chop a race. Okay, just random un undead spirit shows up. Putin's like, hi, I'm gonna haunt you today. Good thing I got an awesome never going to die sword. Because it, it it is awesome. Although I have a feeling any enchantment I try to do with this thing it might be regarded as too expensive. But hey, I, I can try. Oh. Going old school golem here. Uh thank you. They can also drop bones. Nice to know. Oh dear. Mutant, mutant, uh, mutant zombie. Oh, good positioning, but oh, smashed. Ouch. Outmaneuvered. I don't know how you shockwave through the water, but because that that shouldn't be how it works, but somehow you do. Oh, I whiffed. That's that's a problem. Okay, he's totally on me. Nope. I thought I was ready to come back and try to get the prosperity shards ores, but I was not. I am totally outmatched. Okay, this will at least get some of the undead to burn. Terrible food ideas always, but still. Can I get something to fight it, though? So I can weaken it. Do I have... I have some arrows. I have some... Oh! Consolation prize from the golem's defeat. Okay, maybe I can take him on now. Because I do have a good bow, and some arrows. Question is, is he now still around, or did I miss my chance at taking him down? Because that would be fair. <laughs> I outdistance him completely, so, uh... That's the one over there. I wonder if maybe I can, uh... Arrow that guy down completely. Do 
There's so many things around here before I can try to safely get to the caves. Uh, everything is out. Even in the day. It, it's that kind of moment. Oh, that said, I might be able to defeat that guy with some arrows. So you deal a lot of damage, and even though he regenerates, it's not going to be enough to stop me from just blasting him from a distance. Especially with a bow. Oh. This might be a good cave entry, too, around here. Okay. Well, first, I'll see if I can pin him. Now he teleports? Okay, he has too much attack power for me to take down directly. But he is weakened. Okay, well, I, I'm apparently going to need to take some further steps. To, oh, I've lost my boots. I, I thought that they got broke and then they stayed in a broken state until I repaired them. That is apparently not true. Okay, so I, I definitely need to be concerned with, uh, with that because they were special boots. And I thought otherwise about that whole thing, so, uh, okay. I don't know which boots it was that managed to just kind of uh, maintain themselves a bit. So, yeah. Okay, you get repaired. I need to get myself some better headgear. Obviously. Even if it's just... Even if it's just a, uh, iron helmet for now. It's still... something I can use. Okay, none of it got cursed. That That's good news. Because that can sometimes happen from that. Okay. That said, I've been thinking it's about showtime for me to do the other upgrade. But at the same time, do I have... Uh, no, 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 I'd have to do some other stuff here. Do I have enough gems? I might have. I might have. But, oh wait, I don't have the other... Uh, I don't have the powdered form. That's really important for that task. Ugh. I wasn't lucky enough with my dark gem mining to get powdered. Uh, wait, is there an easier way to powder him in this? Because sometimes that's true. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, hello, is there powdered... Is there an easy way to get the powdered form? Or was I just terribly unlucky the whole... Yeah, I think I may have been terribly unlucky the whole time. Yeah, that's... that's, uh, that's uh, I was terribly unlucky. Okay. I I just got nailed to the wall today. Uh, <laughs> I guess there, there had to be that off day once in a while. So that happened. Uh... So I basically was trying to upgrade my furnace so I could have a better botany pots more efficiently. Just so that I could do the little swaps a little bit uh, more effective. And did that come through for me? No. <laughs> that did not come through for me because I just couldn't even get to that point. Because every time I was close enough, I just got wailed on <laughs> by something. <laughs> Whether it was a, a mutant or otherwise, I, I just got... I just got nailed, but so my quest for a better furnace will have to uh, continue later. I will get to it. I will find myself that better furnace, or rather, I will make myself a better furnace. Uh, for now, that's apparently not going to be the case. And yeah, I might want to get myself a shield with some of my iron, so that that could that could be a a, a thing that will help out. Uh. 
I said, well, I could just, I could just smelt up some iron. And go ahead and allow at least some loss. Maybe I can get my first botany pot this way, anyhow, off the, off the excess. Because I'm going to need to smelt up some iron for some other things, anyhow. So. Oh yeah, that's right, I needed to... Yeah, because so whenever, because the point is, uh, off one coal, I'm not going to be able to uh, get all the items done in a group of eight. So if I had to swap off, I'd lose a little bit in between, just for that tiny transition, and then that would cause a bit of a whiff. So that said, by upgrading uh, them to the furnaces from Mystical Agriculture, I should be able to... Uh, eventually make it efficient enough where that's no longer a problem. So yeah, I'm not going to get all four of these. I'm just going to get three of them. But after that, I should be able to do my upgrade. So while I'm waiting on those... Oh wait, that's right. Okay, so while I'm waiting on those, I've got a lot of clay uh, that I'll be able to, to smelt, uh, to uh, cook up as well. And whenever I've got that clay, I'll be able to do a lot of things. So stack. They do not. But that does. Okay. Good. Vines. Skulls. It didn't even give me all three. I, I lost in between, definitely. Uh. Okay, I got a couple of... Not that. Don't know where the other thing went, but not that. A couple other things to burn. I do have poisonous potatoes. Okay, so I'm gonna make myself... One of these botany pots. It's all I was really trying to get a hold of. I'm gonna go ahead and get eight terracotta because... I'm going to need to get more of these eventually, because the, th the thing is, and this is why I'm, I'm doing this whole thing here, is I don't know what was causing my crops, my vanilla crops only, might I add, to suddenly just disappear. And it I don't think it, it was just because they were food items, because I haven't seen rats getting anywhere close to my island or my ship. I have seen them in the woods, usually with a traveling uh, rat salesman guy, but I have not seen them, like, trying to show up here. So I don't think it was rats. I think they just disappeared due to some other bug. That said, I didn't actually lose anything important, because uh, I already had some of those items otherwise, so I was okay. So that was fine. That said, I'd like to have an alternate that doesn't just disappear. So, I now have the ability to do botany pots. Now as for where to put it, you know this could use a nice decorative spot. Just, just for my first one, and maybe just as a decorative pot. The thing is, I think I need to put in some soil. Yeah, there you go. And now I put in some kind of seed to let it grow. Now, that said, which... or some other kind of farmable. I don't know if I'm going to be able to... get the uh, poisonous potatoes this way. I might just have to uh, do it the old bone mealy way. But I would like to be able to plant something that works out better. Now that said, I'm going to try to do it with the uh, with seeds. And uh, yeah. See, 
the, that, that, that works pretty quickly, actually. I think you can hopper this. That said, how much iron do I have overall? Uh, I, I have seven right now. Okay, I think I'll save this for my furnace upgrade. I'll use this to hopper with. Okay, so you help me to hopper. Oh yeah, I was also going to make a shield, but I did find other iron around here, so I should be fine. Also remember, I have haste. Wait, does that one extend directly down? Because if it does, then I have an interesting solution here. what I thought. Or is, do I need to popper it a special way? Okay, the hopper botany pot is special. Okay, so... I combine a hopper with that, and then it'll automatically harvest it and put it in the inventory. Okay. That's completely fine. Did I swat it in a way that broke it completely? I'm wondering where did, or did it get hoppered through? Okay, it got hoppered through. I have wheat. Do, I don't have bonus seeds, though. That could be an issue. I didn't ha actually have that many wheat seeds. That said, I can always just smash grass. That that that's an easy solution to that. So let's let's smash a little grass. Cuz I'd like to combine these two together directly. And can I harvest you with a click? So I'm trying to remember if you can do that with these. Apparently you can. Nice. Now, did you produce enough extra seeds? Or do I have to go around and do something else? Because I, I kind of want a steady supply of bread. For multiple reasons. Some of which might involve making various culinary things. I mean, I think I have culinary construct in here, if, if I remember right. So, I might make custom sandwiches? So, that could be a thing? Right now, I've got terrible food. I mean, it works, but still terrible. Okay, there's the normal seed, so I can go ahead and break that even if it's not producing them. Then I'll have a, another one to try. Okay, hello there. Get sliced. But yeah, regular creepers, not as much of a problem. Uh, mutant creeper, oh my gosh. That, that, that was very painful. Okay, so let's... Okay, so no tool needed. I 
Heck, I definitely need to pickaxe that. Okay, so... I can do this in quick crafting, I believe. There we go. How are you thinking with hoppers? Um, yes. Yes, I am. You do that, and I will feel good. Thank you. I said I, I'm just still so low on food, but hey, I got my my hoppers working now. Uh, I feel good about that. I mean, is 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 it the, uh, is getting a hopping bonsai the accomplishment of the day? Kind of is. Because apparently with other things I kept getting smashed, and now there's a rat around here. That I can actually see. So if they've been taking care of my agriculture in the worst possible way, then it's time to eliminate the problem. That said, eventually I will try taming some and getting various things from them. Because that is totally a thing to do. At, are you holding the precious... Oh yes you are. Give me that. Give me. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the precious Nautilus shell. I have gotten a couple that way, and it's awesome. They just fork it over, and I'm good about that. So, you know. It's like, yeah, let's, let's just get a Nautilus shell at random from a drowned. Okay. How many do I got? I got three now. That that that's fair. Uh, yes. <laughs> I wish I knew if there was a way to actually get that whole thing to work out, but we'll we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Okay, so I I've got my. I've got my hopping bonsai working now, so I should be able to auto-gather some resources. So any resource type plant, I should be able to work with just beautifully. Other than that, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. For now, I, I think this is finally a good time for me to log off, because things have happened. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm good for now. So this has been Glitch Reaper. I'll be logging out for now. Hope to hear from you later, and bye for now, everybody.